Just a quick one, guys, before we get into today's video, we do have new t-shirt prints available on our website, so do browse the collection. We have the Ali McCoy's McEwen's Lager Tee, along with the Gaza playing the flute t-shirt. There is currently £5 off all t-shirts for the launch only, so browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Okay, so a few bits and pieces to go through today, we're going to discuss of course why Rangers have landed some big money ahead of the transfer window, we're also going to be going over Jack Butland of course signing yesterday and of course uh, the brand new kit, uh, but let's start with the new kit itself, yes Rangers just have officially unveiled the new home shirt for next season and in my personal opinion I absolutely I, I absolutely adore it I think this is probably the best home shirt we've had under Castor I've been very vocal um I didn't like I've never really liked Castor jerseys but this one is actually very very good I think uh, they've done a good job here and it's a shirt that I'd probably be buying I haven't bought a Rangers home shirt in uh, since the Hummel one, since the last Hummel shirt. Um, so go, it just goes to show what I think of the Rangers uh, home shirt designs of, as of late. I have, of course, been buying shirts, but they've been the away kits and the third kits and stuff like that. So yeah, this is the first home kit that I'm probably going to be buying um, for, from Castor. So uh, yeah, I'm a really big fan. Uh, do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below if you are going to buy it, yes or no. Uh, yesterday, of course, um, if you're a channel subscriber, you would have known about this a little while ago, that Jack Butler and did sign for Rangers. We did announce it two days ago. However, the club officially unveiled him last night. Basically, they said in a statement, Rangers Football Club are delighted to announce the pre-contract signing of Jack Butland from Crystal Palace. Jack will officially join the club on July 1st on a four-year deal subject to international clearance. The 30-year-old goalkeeper who has been capped nine times by England becomes Michael Beale's third signing of the summer, following the rivals of Kieran Dow and Dujon Sterling. Butland arrives with significant Premier League experience, starting his career at Birmingham City before making the move to Stoke City in 2013. The Englishman racked up over 150 appearances for the Potters across a seven-year spell, earning the club's Player of the Year award both in the 2015-16 season and the 2018-19 campaigns with his impressive performances. In the meantime, Butland continues to gain international national recognition and boasts the honour of being England's youngest ever international goalkeeper after making his debut at the age of 19 years old in a friendly against Italy. The goalkeeper then joined Crystal Palace in 2020 before moving on loan to Manchester United for the second half of the 2022-2023 campaign as Eric Den Haag's side lifted the Carabao Cup, reached the FA Cup final and secured a top four finish in the Premier League. Speaking after signing for Rangers, Butland said, I'm over the moon. The club speaks for itself. No matter where you are in football, you know about Rangers Football Club. This is a huge opportunity for me and I'm delighted to be here. I feel great and motivated at the age that I am and I feel excited at what the future holds. Doing that at a club that is equally as passionate about winning and being at the top as it was huge for me. It's an important summer for the club and we need to go off to a good start. Get the work done early is hugely important. So that we're settled in and ready to go when we come back in. Michael Bill, the manager, of course, added on this. I am delighted that we have recruited Jack. It was clear from our first meeting that we have a strong alignment on football and his development moving forward. At 30, he's coming to the prime years of his career, having already amassed a huge experience of 300 appearances in senior football, including almost 90 in the Premier League. In addition, he has played for England at every level, including nine claps for the senior team and five for Great Britain Olympic team. I feel that we have recruited an excellent goalkeeper and importantly a top person. We are delighted to have Jack and his young family arriving in Glasgow and look forward to seeing him excel at Rangers. Now, this signing has got everybody excited. Look, Jack Butland uh, has been highly regarded. Uh, and as I said in recent videos, Rangers always sign one or three players that fit into a category that I'm about to say. A young, hot prospect, one player that's lost their ways, or one sort of veteran player that was good but was in their last move for like a payday. Um, and this is Jack Butlin's sort of a player that, that has lost his way. And um, I've liked his, uh, uh, Michael Beale's eye for a signing. Did well with the Todd Cantwell one as well. I think Todd Cantwell was an unbelievable signing. He's, he's really, really impressed me. Um, so hopefully Jack Butlin can be the next player to revitalise his career as a young goalkeeper. He's still young for a goalkeeper. 30 years old. We could see the next six, seven years, eight years... Um, being at Ibrox. So I hope it really, really goes well for Butland and we can have a secure base at the back line. Um, 
Of course, now, obviously, why you're here to click on the title, uh, Rangers land big money ahead of the transfer window. We know how busy the transfer window is going to be, and we haven't really got much sellable assets these days. We really don't. Um, however, actually, Rangers have been landed a nice six-figure bonus as a former Rangers player, uh, McCrory, ended up moving to Bristol City. Yes, that was confirmed over the last uh, last 24 hours. Uh, obviously, McCrory has Ross McCrory um, has obviously gone from Aberdeen and moved on to Bristol City um, down there in the English Championship. So yeah, exciting stuff there for Ross. His career is... I always rated Ross very, very highly when he was at Rangers, to be perfectly honest. Um, obviously went over to Aberdeen and uh, yeah, and then... And then did, did, did his way through there. So, um, yeah, he's gone down to England now. Maybe the next player that can sort of go. But, yeah, at least Rangers got a bit more of a fee for him. Remember, he was... Scott Wright came to us and then he went the other way. Um, so, yeah, good to see us get a little bit of fee. And as I said, these sell-on fees actually working. A bit of money, a bit of money. Could go away to the, the Tractor Kitty this summer for sure. Um, the exact fee, I'm, I'm not I'm not aware of. But it's, 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 it's a decent six-figure bonus anyway. Um, now we're going to be talking about Stephen. Davis. Now, look, Stephen Davis, there has been touts at him. Apparently, obviously, the his contract is expired, uh, currently out with an injury, and Rangers sort of honouring him to stay and um, mend him up, basically. Um, basically, uh, as well, Michael Bill sort of hinted that he could become a sort of coach going forward. Um, as I said, in December, his contract well, sorry, this season his contract expires, but he's not due back till the end of the year. Um, so as I said, the, the, the club are looking thing. But what Michael Beal has hinted at is that uh, he could stay on uh, beyond this period, but more maybe me stay back as a coach. I do think Davis deserves a bit of a send off. So whether he's going to be coming back for an injury, maybe get a six month contract at the end of the season and then stay on as a coach. But as I said, Michael Bill has hinted um, that he has a real desire to come back and play first and foremost. But as he said, he's uh, good to have around and he has uh, ambitions to to be as a coach and he wants him to help there. So it's definitely an option. So that's what Michael Bill said there that Stephen Davis could stay on as a coach, which I think would be very very good news uh for rangers it's always good to uh, i know i don't really like the idea of having too many veteran players but i think my um i do think stephen davis the these sort of stephen davis's characters with a lot of experience premier league knows what it's like to play for rangers a rangers fan is is important to have around the football club whether he's going to be retiring i don't know i think he could still be playing at a decent level stephen davis i don't think he's even retired from international football so that just goes to show the guy um but yeah, that's what that's what he's saying. Michael Bill basically hinted that he could return back to the first team and, of course, stay on at the club as a coach. Uh, but Rangers fans, first and foremost, do let me know your thoughts on um, the signing of Jack Butland. Is he going to be the safe pair of hands for us going into next season? Or do you still think Robbie McCrory might beat him to the jersey? Uh, and then what do you think of Stephen Davis potentially becoming a coach? Are you for that or against it? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website. We have got brand new designs. So do browse that collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.